everybody, long time no see again. I haven't been uploading a lot recently, reasons mainly being that I've just been a bit down and depressed about not being able to find a job and just generally like feeling a bit low in myself. However, buckle yourselves up for a busy vlog because things have changed around here. Drum roll please. I got a job. <gasps> it's very, very exciting. I found out last week. So the thing about this job is that it is at school and for that reason I don't want to talk about it loads on my YouTube channel just because I think you've got to be conscious around kids and I don't know who's watching my videos and stuff like that. So all you need to know is that it's in a school. I'm super duper excited and I am on a journey towards my teaching qualification. So that is wonderful. So I've got a busy afternoon ahead and the first of the jobs on my list are to read my new contract, sign it and send it off. Let's read this. I have signed the paperwork and I'm just walking over to the post office to, not the post office, the post box to post it. I feel so good about this, it just feels really right. I feel like I waited so long and then this opportunity came up and um, thankfully it went my way and I just feel like a huge weight has been lifted. I feel really proud of myself and really just confident and happy again. See you in September! <laughs> okay, so that is posted now. I feel great. What do you do? Next thing is clothes. Now, with a new career comes a new wardrobe. And because I feel like a new person, and I definitely am a new person because I just had a salad for lunch. Who is Harriet? And where is Harriet? And who, what have you done with her? What's that phrase? Uh, I decided to uh, treat myself to some new clothes. They're not all work clothes. Some of them are just for me, for outside work, but I thought I'd show you those now. So they, these are from m and and ASOS. I'll show you m and first. <laughs> First I got these shorts, these are just for summer, they are like a linen, navy blue, just tie around the waist type short. They're super comfy and they're quite a nice length, they're not too short. Uh, I thought these were just nice for summer since we've been having this ridiculous heat wave. Next up proves my point that I am a new me because I hate blue jeans, like I hate people wearing them, I hate them on me, I hate I just hate them. I'm just a, such a black jean fan. However, I decided to dip my toe into the blue jean world. So from m and again, I got these and they're like a straight leg mum jean type style and they're kind of mid-waisted, just a really relaxed fit. And I think these look really cool just with like a t-shirt tucked in and I've been wearing them with high top converse and they look really cool. Oh, sun's gone in. Yeah, I feel like I'm a blue jean convert and I don't hate them as much anymore. <laughs> Last thing from m and is my favourite, and this is for work. It's linen again, and it is just this dress. It's quite a nice length, and I thought this would just be perfect for school because it's kind of smart, but it's still young, and these buttons are in at the moment, and linen is nice and light, and um, it's just simple, and it's just one thing you can throw on and just be dressed. So I'm going to look for a few more of these before I start in September, um, because I really do like this style a lot. First up from ASOS is this, what do they call this again? Um, frilly, um, net, um, uh, oh, no. Oh, lace! Lace! <laughs> First up is just this lace top. I think it's really smart and it will look nice with just these smart trousers, which I'm also gonna get in red from m and because I like these a lot. Next up is a bit of a Minnie Mouse number and it is this. And then very similar to that is a navy. Oh, it looks like we've got a button missing. I'll try those on later because I'm absolutely sweltering right now. And the one other thing that I wanted to show you is my cross stitch. So the Moulin Rouge, which I started in like April, I have finally finished it. I was super excited to finish. Actually, within a few minutes of finishing it, I decided to have a bowl of chili con carne, which ended up splashing on it. But I think I've managed to get all the chili off. But mum was literally wetting herself laughing that I've spent all these months trying to finish it and then spilt chili con carne all over it. I just love it. And I, in fact, I stopped on the way home from work today in the little craft shop to buy some new threads and I downloaded a new pattern and I'm going to start that probably today if I'm honest because I'm excited. So I've got my cross stitch bug back. So this is my new cross stitch pattern. It's obviously a cactus and these are the colours that I'm using. Ooh, 
I think this one's actually a lot smaller than this one. Fingers crossed, because <laughs> that took me about four months. <laughs> so because I am an excited and impatient person, I've decided to start now because I just can't wait. However, I do have stuff to do today, so I'm not gonna let myself get carried away. I've put a half an hour alarm on my phone and I'm only gonna allow myself half an hour of cross stitch and I'm gonna listen to the Moth podcast because I'm into it at the moment. This guy walked up and, and I was like, hi. Now for me, that's like huge. So. Right, my half an hour timer is up. And in case you were interested, this is what a half an hour of cross stitch looks like. <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's like a sauna in here. Windows. Okay. Next task for the day is I have an appointment at Horsham Hospital. It's a follow up from my colonoscopy, which is a really long time ago, but that was as soon as they had the appointment, I suppose, NHS, very busy. It's really lovely actually that I've got, I'm getting quite a lot of views on my colonoscopy video. And uh, the comments are just the nicest thing to read through. Everybody's like, thank you so much for making this video. You know, I'm having one tomorrow and I'm not nervous anymore. And I just think, oh God, I'm so glad I put it out there. <laughs> Louise and I are going to see the new Mamma Mia film tonight. It's Harriet Murray. Thank you. I am home now from the hospital. Basically, in short, my colonoscopy results were fine, but I am being sent for two more tests. I don't think everyone will be interested. So what I'll do is when I when I have the tests, I'll do um, like a proper video about it then, explaining what I'm having and why. It's almost six o'clock. Uh, the film is at eight, so I'm gonna have some dinner quickly now and do a little bit of work, which I should have done earlier. And, uh, and then go and meet Louise at the cinema. Ha ha! Here's what I've knocked up for dinner. We've got orzo, which I'm absolutely obsessed with at the moment. Chorizo, courgettes, olive oil, tomatoes and an onion. Yum. So a little bit of work has been done and I'm now in Burgess Hill um, to meet Louise to go to the cinema. She texts me saying, park next to the cinema, I've gone to get KFC. So I came into the car park and I was like, where shall I go, where shall I go? And then I spot Louise's car there with an empty space next to it. So that was ideal. Thank you. Cheers! Right, see you after the film. Mamma mia. So we just came out of the cinema. It was really, really good. Louise and I both enjoyed it a lot. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we both enjoyed it massively, actually. It was so good. Except it's definitely like one of those feel-good songs that you do want to sing and dance to. However, the woman next to me was singing along with every song and I was just like, shut up. Let Amanda Seyfried sing it. <laughs> but no, it was really good. One thing we did say, though, was that... They definitely picked all the best songs for the first film. Because I guess at that point they didn't know they were doing a second one. So like all the songs you know are in the first one. There were probably like five, four or five that I had never heard before in this film. Which was a bit of a shame because that's the point you like to sing along. But whatever. Um, it was really good. Anyway, I'm absolutely desperate for a wee. So let's trot on home, shall we? Tonight the super bar, super bar. Where's you gonna find me? I just got home. It is very warm in my room as usual. So I've got my AC unit on, which is what's buzzing in the background. Um, thank you for watching this vlog. I feel like I've had a really full, productive day. It's been great. Had a good day. New me, new productivity. <gasps> right, I think I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.